to watch people doing something illegal, bring them in, and then say, Neh. no worries, you free you go. Make decisions based on the evidence we have before us at the time. Our profound obligation is to make sure we have the right people charged with the right crime. They don't have to put the truth out there. They don't have to put reality out there. They can put whatever they want you to see. We have I to start guessing one of two things. You really have somebody in your back pocket telling you what to do. Or, or, you have plans to follow through with something far more nefarious. Stereotypes are, you know, funny sometimes, but sometimes they are a true. You know that old adage, all black people look the same, or white people can't cook. Well, I think, I think they've started to put that on other people. And I'm sorry to say that for a long time, we've been laughing at stuff together, even though it seems that we've been separated. But they're taking our one last bastion of unity away now. And why am I saying that? Well, first, it was we need your vote. Okay, we don't need your vote no more. We got a replacement. We got a replacement. There's always a replacement. Well, recently we talked about these immigrants in, uh, sorry, illegal immigrants in New York that beat up them cops and then they got released and they're free to go. Well, you know, the story just gets juicier. Apparently, apparently, allegedly, all them other A words, they were picked up in Arizona, Phoenix to be exact. Now, what I was mentioning before about the stereotypes, it's this story we're talking about. They were picked up in Arizona. I, okay, sorry. Individuals were picked up in Arizona. I don't want to get myself in trouble. I'm trying to maintain my status as a, a, a legal person. Uh, they were picked up. Some men were picked up in, in Arizona, Phoenix, that fit the bill of the ones that were involved in the incident in New York. However, when asked about the identities of these men, the... Uh, the officer said they had similar sounding names than the ones in New York. So we can't tell you that it's them. We can't confirm or deny. No pictures yet. But I'm going to go on a limb and say they're going to try to find pictures of similar looking individuals. Because, you know, all Mexicans look the same because all black people look the same and all white people look the same. It's comical, but it ain't really comical. You see, the reason that Bragg didn't want to put charges on him is he didn't have enough evidence. But they escaped to another place that don't have that kind of leniency. And now they've been arrested. And the word on the street is, again, allegedly, allegedly, is that now Bragg has said, oh, now I can arrest them because now I have grounds to. I'm not quite sure how footage isn't grounds, but them getting arrested in another state is. While the video is shocking and disturbing, in order to secure convictions in a court of law, it is essential that we conclusively identify each defendant. Could it be, could it be that Bragg is trying to hide something about what he either told them, promised them, and now because they were picked up by another state who probably will not give the kind of leniency he gave, now he has to backtrack on his deal that he gave them? Could possibly be. Again, these are all alleged because they ain't coming forward to tell you nothing. And they won't tell you anything. They have to keep you in the dark. Why? You see, you in the dark means that they can put anything they want into the light. They don't have to put the truth out there. They don't have to put reality out there. They can put whatever they want you to see. Highlight it because you're in the dark. They can highlight it, take the light off. And now in your mind, this is the truth. And then highlight it and take the light off. What possesses a person that is involved in bringing people to justice to watch people doing something illegal, bring them in, and then say, Neh. no worries, you're free to go make decisions based on the evidence we have before us at the time. Our profound obligation is to make sure we have the right people charged with the right crime. Allow them to leave, show them not having remorse, and allow them to leave the state. Now remember, they keep saying that, hey, we don't just allow them to run all over the country. We keep tabs. Do you? Do you really keep tabs, though? I mean, I understand that some of you drink a lot, and so that might be the tab you're running up, but that's not the kind of tab you should be keeping. You tell me you keep tabs on all the ones that come in and there is no crisis. But for some reason, we just happen to pick up some people with similar names and quite possibly similar looks of similar numbers in Phoenix, Arizona. Now, the case obviously is still unfolding. We get that, understand that. And um, 
The problem here is, are they going to extradite them to New York, Manhattan, wherever, to face any kind of court case? But here's the problem. If they were released for that crime, why would you now rearrest them when that's over with? No, I guess you could get them for jumping, but they never got bond. So they can't jump bond and they can't skip bail. So you really don't have any grounds. The only other reason I could see Bragg calling anybody back to New York is to cover his hide. That's the only reason. Now, they were picked up, like I said, in, um, uh, in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, arrested Wednesday, arraigned Thursday on two counts of second degree assault and second degree obstructing governmental administration. Now, when you get picked up like that, this is a this is a, the problem here. When you get picked up with cases like that, and then the attorney general says, no problem here, don't worry about it, you're fine, you're good, you go, don't worry, you're set. And another state picks you up for pretty much the same thing. We have to start guessing one of two things. You really have somebody in your back pocket telling you what to do, or, or, you have plans to follow through with something far more nefarious. Now, there are another cases going on that we will talk about that will kind of bear the truth to what we're talking about in this one, because you'll see more and more of this happening as time goes on, because we've been mentioning to you before that this great replacement thing is indeed real. And not only is it a replacement thing, it's, how do I say this? They are flashing their authority and their agenda in your face and there is nothing you can do about it is what they're trying to tell you. You want to know how bad it is? We'll eventually tell you. Don't worry about that. But as for this case, it's going to only get more hilarious by the moment. Because one, these are the same people that the people in New York voted to put in there. Let's just be honest about this. They, they brought this on themselves. Technically. Technically. I know there are some who didn't. But technically, you brought this on yourself. So you're seeing firsthand what the person's motive was from the beginning. Anyway, what we don't understand is the why. I don't think we'll ever understand the why other than ultimate power corrupts ultimately. And when we see it bearing out in the news and bearing out in reality, we only have one other option to believe. You are now expendable.